What's up guys? It's Burn back here, and we're going back into more Play the Spire Downfall of Runa. So, Downfall here. Let's go in with we went with the Guardian last time. Going with the Hex Ghost, I think. No, we're gonna do the little ghosty mask boy. Hexaghost I am not very good at. Um, so we will see how this goes. Let's accept that invitation. Let's talk here. Uh, let's grab that bucket and let's go. Uh, I don't want to look back. I'm really bad with the Hexaghost. Out of all the downfall characters, he is probably the one I am not as good with. That's fine. Oh, let's go get it. It's the same path. We get a lot of shots on this path. We should keep that in mind when grabbing stuff like doubts and all that kind of thing. I don't know what I want. I don't know. Oh, they have changed these a little bit. So Seer now is ethereal with afterlife. So it works with that synergy a little bit better. Um, it also, if you don't play it, you know, you still get some kind of effect out of it. It's still a 16 damage after in three turns. Um, so we'll start with that. It's pretty good. And incentivizes me to play it faster. Don't want to slire, uh, spire co stocks. Merchant. Hello, my friend. Actually, let's draw a card first. I really wanted the seer, but alas, we did not get it. Get it here, though. Okay, we got the block from the brand. Spear brand? No. A little bit of damage, and it should, he should be here long enough to take advantage of the actual um, seer. So, there we go. I wanted to get it again if possible. Uh, we will not be able to play a power, so that will all be for naught, but 32 damage here will be good. And if we drew it again, we would have got a little bit more. Alas, we didn't, but I mean, 50 damage on the shopkeeper on the first one is kind of where I like to stay. Okay, I still, I need to find the Yang, I guess. I still don't understand that one quite yet. Do I want that much healing at the start of my turns? Turns in my hand. I think I will wait on these. Nothing there's like really catching out at me. Six block, if you exhaust that card, the starting game would blur. Interesting. That's, I feel like that one was changed too. Hmm. And that the previous goes to catch up. I think that goes to free, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know if we're building into like ignition or if we're building into afterlife. I feel like the ghost shield's gonna be what I go for. Still, this feels good. A random curse. That's fine. On fish, maybe apply one. Apply six drowning. I remember what drowning does. If I take this for 150 gold, I can get the gremlin food too. And maybe still have a removal. And gremlin food's really good whenever you rest, upgrade a random card. I take a ton of damage. Also, the treasure chest would not be bad. I think I do that. We get voices. I think I just gotta decide. I think I want the gremlin food. And I still could get this. Or I could get two fire starters. Which are much better than any strikes I have. What's voices do? Let me read that one. Uh, startup. Add two copies of this, car of this card to your discard pile. Ethereal. That's not bad. I actually can handle that. Let's take the two fire starters. We're gonna have more sharp shops as we go to. All right, so Butterfly Man. So these are the ego cards. We actually haven't, I, well, since we haven't been doing downfall, we haven't seen as many of those. Ooh, or seven for two removal. I think I'm gonna remove two cards here. That lets me get out the voices, and that'll let me get out a basic strike that we're replacing with the fire starters. Be pretty good. Hmm. There's one more card, then upgrade it. Now let's just get the 75 gold. We have a bunch of shops coming up, so probably be pretty good. I gotta decide. Well, I think we're building into Soul Burn, is what I'd like to. With an afterlife uh like defensive engine. I think. So I think I'll go with the fire starters here. The bigger the soul burn number, the better. That's garlic, languid, that's fine. Don't mind that at all. And we'll get another fire starter upgrade. Hopefully all these early upgrades have coming in handy. Alright, hi shopkeep. 
Ooh, early seer here is very nice. Not get the the additional fire starter that I wanted, but hopefully we need three defends if we want to block all. Oh, actually he's he's languid. That actually helps a lot here. All right, we'll do this. We'll block for one, and we want to play another another skill to get the eight damage, which is more than the six. So yeah, we'll do that. Okay. But then now we want to play two attacks. This thing's going off this turn, so make sure we do this to get the maximum soul burn, which of 47 is not insignificant here. We put him under 200. I mean, under 300. Uh, Seer's not going to do anything this time. We really want to get another, yeah, strike. And we will see him just do so, but we would have really wanted it last turn. It is very early for me. Well, not very early. Early for a Saturday, I'm actually recording this the same day that I'll be going out because I've been nonsensically busy. Uh, they've changed flames from beyond. Ethereal afterlife. So you can either now choose to play it or choose to let it just go. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's 930 on the Saturday. So it's pretty early. I got a little bit of morning voice, so I'm drinking coffee while I sit here. Oh, red candle would have been very good. Uh, if the current is ignited, extinguish it and return this to your hand. That's also very good. Also, it's just another flames from beyond. Mm -hmm -hmm. Trying to think. These two would be what I want, but I can't take them both. I don't think we're igniting enough stuff, like, like, uh, efficiently enough to do that. Doing a madness here would be also kind of, kind of nice, because these flame blades are pretty expensive. If we choose to add more of them as we go. Hmm. I mean, heat crush is also very good. The problem with heat crush is we're not applying soul burn at like a very low, like low cost. So it'd be on the second cycle that we get that off. Beat us. I think I will go with another flames from beyond. I think I'll call it there. All right, this is the real test. How do we do? All right, I think it's fragment of the universe. Get that 18 soul burn. Okay. And right, he's gonna be attacking. He's buffed himself with strength. There's the other one. Boom. Uh, do we take 14 here? They're at 36. We have one more turn to really get the damage on them. I'm actually gonna put, go do this. This one's dead next turn, so we actually don't have to worry about the damage from him. And if we can get one more Soul Burn S card, we will actually kill them both. And we, mm, we do not. That's fine though. So go ahead for the strike here. Oh, his. Where did his Soul Burn go? Oh, whenever this creature deals nine unblock damage, remove all debuffs. Didn't realize that. Uh, defend. That's fine. You're dead. So it does. That's at least good. And it should be hard to do 36 soul burn to him. Well, at this rate, it would be. Um. Ooh, this is gonna actually be not good. I cannot continuously soul burn him. We're actually gonna take a uh, help in the damage because he's gonna hit me. Deal 22. Ow. Um, and remove his soul burn. So I actually just need to po like punch him, like physically assault this man. We'll, we'll go here. Wish I would have thought about that earlier. I didn't realize it. It's fine. He is dead. Um, we'll gain one blur here, but I just need to kill him. <laughs> if not, I'm going to die. Okay. Uh, whenever you play an attack, lose one HP and gain one strength. Not bad. Increase the damage dealt for each card. Uh, dealt by this card. By one for each card in your hand. Ethereal. We gotta make sure to play it. Uh, I still don't think it's... People say Schwartz Girl is good, and I can see where I just don't... Like, I feel like if it was later and I already had an energy relic, I could invest in that, but currently I just can't. HP, gain intangible, exhaust. Free HP. Incorporeal would be really good. Or pick up our souls here. Uh, another shopkeep. Hopefully, yep, we did get a good, a good starting hand. Actually, this is a very good starting hand. Do this, fire starter, 
This is going to exhaust. So he has 45 to start with. Something. Oh, it's so they have like an effect for it to um, to afterlife away now, which is kind of neat. Fire starter, and then we defend here. Hey, 70 damage next turn. I mean, that's a nutso amount of damage for just soul burn. Um, we want to play a defend here. Get that eight damage. Six more. All right, that's it for that. 70 damage here. Not gonna kill him, but we're getting there. We only have 80, so it's not like we'll be doing much here. Our fire starters nine more. I mean, we will get more. We need a time bomb, the one that allows you to automatically detonate the soul burn. Not time bomb, it's something else. Uh, meat lantern would be very good. There's not like a single card that makes our deck run. Uh, ethereal exhaust shadow guys. I'm kind of about that. The thermal transfer is also very good. Because the enemy most likely will always have soul burn, except maybe on the first turn. I think that's better. It's like an iron wave, but just a little bit worse. Oh, our calcum would have been very good. Uh, cards and ghost flame apply two more soul burn. Two is not a lot. Like extra crispy, I feel like it's not that high of a payoff. I mean, I guess it stacks if you have something that's continuously applying it. Um, after soul burn detonates this turn, apply eighteen more. No, I'm good. Good here. Advancing guard's good, but not not necessary for this build. We have another shop on this route. We do not. So let's go ahead and do another card removal here. I think we go for yeah another basic strike. They're only really good to increase, like keep moving up our um our counter, our uh, ignition. What is it? The ghost flames. Okay. We will float to the next one. Ghost shield. If I, if you exhaust that card, game one blur. Okay, we keep that in mind. Fire starter here. Uh, we want to defend, and we're gonna poke him again. The languid really helps on this. Okay, there's thermal transfer. My block. There's my seer I needed. And I think we're just good. We can just wait. Oh, I gotta watch out for Meat Lantern. There it is. I have to continuously tell myself to watch for it, or I will forget. 70. I mean, we do- our first pass, we do do a lot. It's the second pass that really hurts us. In your hand at the end of your turn, exhaust all cards to the left of this card. I really like that, but we're not playing attacks. Again, King of Greed, you are for, um, a silent build. Let's also re-extract. The King Greed. Because we have plenty of uh, lobotomy currency, so I want to make sure we've seen all the cards. Ooh. This is new. Strike from Beyond. For no choice, reclaim a random afterlife card. You that into your discard pile. That's actually really good. I actually really like that. I'm going to take one copy of it. Just the upgrade. This does 6 damage. Yes, that's all it does. Um, I think we go for incorporeal here. Just so when we when we use it, we can uh, make sure to get the most benefit. I think we will fight the special en enemy here. We are we do only have 22 health. I think we're good. Flames from beyond here. Um, I need to read something really quick. Uh, you. If the attached card is played, okay. But if it's exhausted, it's fine. So that works. All right. So we want to just attack. Uh, there's no reason to reclaim anything. We'll just go shield, and then we'll just wait. Oh, I can strike from beyond for more damage. And that did not hurt me. I was really afraid it would. Um, we float. Can we get a block? We cannot. Um, I think we don't play this, and we play these three. We let the flames from beyond uh, get exhausted here. Seven more damage. If we take a big poke, we can time traveler potion, but I think we just have him here. Uh, probably not quite, but enough to not worry super much. Actually, no, he's just dead. All right. I like it. Ooh, very festival. I'm pretty okay with that. Meat Lantern's passive. 
fragments of the universe I don't have to play specifically. And how much does this do if I play it? Uh, it's 20 to myself if I just mess up. <laughs> What's the negative for wall gazer? Uncontrollable is it triggered when drawn lose 2 HP. To remove a random buff from an enemy. Let's actually try wall gazer. 2 HP is not that bad. All cards in your hand come ethereal. No, thank you. But it is afterlife. I'm looking for cards with afterlife that synergize well. Uh, Ghost Flame Wall is too expensive, I think. And I don't think I need another fire starter. The ones we have in our deck are already upgraded, so they are a bit more meaningful to me. Ooh. Hello, Wasp. Eh. Alright, 15 coming in. That would technically... Oh, ow. It does kill us. And Wall Gazer did hurt us, so we are actually... Oh, we're just actually... Dead. Unless I kill them this turn. And I can. Let's do this. This should exhaust to 18. No, I can't detonate them. Hmm, 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 hmm. 18 damage, yeah. We're just dead here. I feel like that wasn't that much on me. Oh, I played that to deal damage. Weird, I didn't know I could even play it. How can I? I should have, I guess, time travel potion last time. Oh, wait, no, I'm not dead. They're all languid. That's fine. So they're dead once we. We just need to survive for three turns. I'm like, trying to, like, math it out. Okay. Because I forgot also about the, um, the meat lantern. Go ahead and go shield here. They're doing nine. This is plenty. And they're dead. Never mind. I was worried for nothing. I mean, I mostly should be worried because we still have to beat the boss, but... Alright, I should just end and they should just die. Yep. So anything that gives me max HP here could be tempting. I could be tempted to take. Uh, max HP here too, and... Lose four at the start of combat. I don't see why this would be helpful. Wait, raise your max HP by two and lose four max HP. Lose four HP. Oh, is it every combat you gain 2 HP? That's actually pretty good. Lose 10 max. I, mean, I really want Prophecy of Skin. Because we're right before the boss, right? So we would lose 4 next turn. I just can't take any damage. I'm going to take it. Overall, that should be better. Um, when this card exhausts gain 2 intangible. Uh, no, I don't want that one. Because I don't have a good way to exhaust it currently. No, for 40% of the damage received. Card is played randomly, exhaust a card. And heal 12. Gain 3 or 3. Uh, uncontrolled, gain 3 weekly. At random. Debuff is higher than 6. Exhaust all cards in your hand. I don't really want that. I can see how it'd be good, but I don't really want that. Okay, retract. Gain 1 energy is actually fine. I actually find that. Let's do that. We're not building into that, so. Alright, so we're gonna lose four at the start of this. Alright. Doing six. That would not kill us. Uh, rewind to gain one. Not bad. Fire starter. So this watcher does. Let's see. Wrath. Okay. Gotta watch out for the meat lantern here. Deal four damage to him. And continue around here. Alright, plenty of block here. Alright, thermal transfer. He's doing... Well, give us some block. That's good. Let's float here, actually. Flames from beyond. Do I want to play it? No, we'll just get it back. Okay with that. Nine. I'm going to gain five at the end from Meat Lantern. So he should be blocked. Yeah. Alright. So he's dealing no damage. So let's really rack up here. And fire starter. There we go. 70 damage here. Does he go into wrath here? He does. Oh, 34 damage. And we will. There's no cards. Let's draw first. I really needed some block. Very much so. 
Um, hmm. Flames from Beyond would not help me here. I think I start with Fire Transfer. Can I kill him? Is the next question. I keep laying in damage. Eight more. No way. Is that, yep, 22. I can gain five more block from this potion, which puts me up. Oh, I'm so close yet so far away. Like the tiniest amount of damage would, would help. Okay. Nine more, eight, seven. There's no way. So this would be the card to, to pick. He's down to 12, I'm up to 15. Wall Gazer does nothing. Yep. And he beat me by 12 HP. I'm up to 20, but not enough. Super sub. We'll try one more here. It's still early. I only have to have this out in three hours. And I did want to ask. So I've been a little like off and on on like what days I've been recording because work has been kicking me in the head. As people know, that's what jobs are really good at. Um, so I'm trying to decide do, if we are enjoying the every other day schedule for Slay the Spire or the every like two days ish. I, I've been like about one day off, um, like once a week. It just really depends on like what stuff like this morning. I'm recording this morning. I have uh, friends from out of town coming saying tonight to tomorrow. So tomorrow afternoon I'll record again. It's just like trying to get the timing down has been pretty difficult. We're going to go this left side fully. Um, so I didn't know if this schedule is working, if that's okay. It, it, you know, if I should, you know, try to be more consistent about like, instead of doing every other day to do like every three days. So you know what day it comes out on or if it really matters to you guys. Um, or if it's just my brain saying, uh, you know, that it does. Um, or if you're just happy to see Slay the Spire. And then I'm still deciding what else I want to put out. I might put out, maybe not the, at the end of this one because I don't have time to like do the editing for it. But I might do a, uh, a comprehensive list of all the games I have. And see if there's another one we want to see on the channel. Just to break, break it up a little bit. Because we've been doing this a lot. Um, and just having something different on my plate would be kind of fun. Uh, like the downfall has been really fun because it's been a little different. So, um, empower uh, for, for each ignited ghost slave. Divider. I don't think I've ever seen. That's the pylon card effect or card uh, art. Exhum an ethereal card and exhaust. I don't even know what that would what that would entail. Like, what would I want? I mean, right now it doesn't help me. But hmm, nothing here sounds that interesting. We'll do Empower Flame. We'll try to, to, to do an advancing deck. I just don't know how strong it is. And this technically does not do anything right now. Um, in terms of like overarching effect. Oh, we also have Lantern. I gotta remember that. Um, Seer on the back. Let's go for this. Actually, let's float too. Defend. Start that little thing. Getting a wallop right here in the beginning. Okay. Yeah, let's float first. I need to. Oh, that does, actually does not do anything. You. Oh, you were already dead, but that's fine. They play two attacks. Actually, I'm just going to double the defend here. Because he's dead next. Yeah, this coming up turn. And you are dead right now. So that's fine. In here. A little bit of damage right at the start. Ooh, the army in black. This card do you take 20%? What's that? I don't know. The the actual army of black cards still damage to you. And I don't think we have a way to like circumvent that currently. We don't play enough attacks. Fragment of the universe is just good, but it messes up like some other synergies with like the festival for healing. I'll still take one. Just to keep up our number. Uh rewind. Even though we're, we're, we're making our intensity deck. I don't have like a specific goal for it. Empowering Flame. Float. 
fragment because the the um, artifacting is the good part for the fragment of the universe. All right, we're paralyzed here. Let's see. Let's play strike, strike, rewind here. Go backwards, and then we steer, defend, kill another one. And they're dead once turn three comes up. So. I can play more Seers, but overall I'm just going to wait past the turn a couple times and just let them go. Okay. Yeah, because now Fairy Festival comes up and we can't really take it because of Fragment of the Universe. Or we're not going to play Fragment of the Universe. Let's re-extract here. Ooh, Spider Bud's a lot of draw and a lot of exhaust. Exhaust the top card. Hmm. Scorch Girl. There. I don't have any cards, like, high-cost cards I'm having to play, so let's do that. And then we'll do Skip a Beat. Because all the, like, most of the beat cards and the cards that, like, work off of that, um, work off of intensity, actually usually will upgrade to be zero cost. Alright, so we need to play this. Boom. 25 damage off the start. Um, I feel like Seer's a little bit slow. Yeah, it's too slow. Let's not play it, actually. Because they're just going to to get past it. Actually, you I might can. If I can block your attack, I'm going to take a bunch from that. Um, okay, one strike. Rewind here. We're back again. Um, I mean, I play all three. So you're down to set. Yeah, you'll die next turn, probably. But you're going to clear your debuffs, I think, right? No, he didn't do enough. That works out very well. Let's... Ignite the next Ghost Slam, and they're both dead. That worked out very well. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I don't remember the funeral of the Dead Draw a card, heal one HP, and gain one block. Heal one damage to all enemies. Card is in your hand. Any card you exhaust is removed from your deck. In your hand, any card you exhaust is also removed from the drop pool. Hmm. I don't know. It's really good, but... So this would be removed. This would be removed. This would be removed. I don't think I could take it with this character. Whenever this card is exhausted, gain 5 strength. Become Curse Parasite. Whenever this card exhausts. Uncontrollable. All cards gain 1 retain. Ethereal. Yeah, that one I don't think I want either. Or paint. I should have checked my card here, technically. Um, add a random power to your hand. A zero until played. Yeah. That would have been good. And there's Phantom Fireball. That was the one I was talking about last time. Ocean Belt is not good. I'd rather have the Sapphire Key. Um, do we want two more removals again? Let's take the Ego card. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Solemn Lament. Killing butterflies. Manifest. Uh, you may instead of exhaust one card from your for every missing HP. Okay. Game one intangible. Super good. Okay, by manifest, add a copy of it to your discard pile. And it exhausts itself. It it's in the top right that shows that. Interesting. Not actually too bad though. Hello, my Forsaken Murderer. I don't really need to play that right now. Let's Empowered Flame float here. Double defend for the damage. Um, do I want to exhaust this? Yeah, because I'll, I'll do this, exhaust it, and I still get the effect. Interesting. Alright, Scorch Girl. Huge damage. We're going to retract here. And then... I just need a double block. And that actually kills him. Let's see. Whenever an enemy dies, heal six. The card in your hand is exhausted. The second armor oh, gives you perfect card. Card exhausted. Five damage to yourself. No. Card exhaust. Ice slow. Freeze a random card. 
Now they dual tier and dual require a non frozen attack card to activate. Jeez. Let's try this. I don't remember what it does, but let, let's do it. More intensity. I mean, that's does do a thing. I don't know if it's a good thing. I think I want hexagards to exhaust for my other card, I guess. Not quite sure what I want. I'm kind of just going off on a limb here. Alright, so let's add a random... Ooh, wait. Hmm. I think here. Gotta play Scorch Girl. We got... Let's do this. Start an end of your turn with the Ghost of Mac to gain one strength. Interesting. Not really what I would have wanted. Hmm. I guess, yeah, we'll just continue here. It's good, but yeah, you have to get the ghost limbs active. Low. And nothing's frozen, though. Um, ignite the next ghost flame. Then we defend, I guess. Duel. How is it called to? I don't remember how this works. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure how that works. Oh, this is frozen, that's why. If I duel here, with this. Interesting. Not sure. Scorch Girl for damage, though. Rewind, attack. I got a little bit of damage in that towards the end. I forgot the slow effect. I gotta, like, keep track of how that duel really works. Uh, Meat Lantern is fine. Forked Flame. <laughs> There's Ghost Flame Ignition. We're kind of just playing the Ghost Flames just for, like, benefit like they're stronger and we just play do them often uh the first time a non-status and non-curse ethereal card is exhausted add a copy to your hand it costs zero until played that's weird non-curse is it an ethereal card do we have any ethereal card yep seer um x there's like two could be good later though. Attacks in our opening hand. Hmm. Let's take Recycler and let's remove a card here. Our deck's kind of odd. It's like a mishmash of stuff that doesn't quite make sense, but I'm okay with it. Let's take an in injury. Yeah, there we go. The life fibers are actually very good. Oh, and you're not, you're, you're fine. Also, I didn't realize we had an injury. I would have removed that. Oops. Radiant Flame, that's fine. I'm gonna defend here. Let's draw the card in advance. Draw two cards. Should be fine. Gotta watch out for the Meat Lantern. Okay, there's Forked Flame and there's Scorch Girl. Uh, we will also slow you. Oh, this card's the one that comes. Oh, they're doing a ton of damage to me. I don't like that. Duel this. They both just exhaust. I guess there's a chance that they exhaust or they don't. Not quite sure. This will give me five block, and then we'll, I mean we're not gonna. We should have take six damage, so that's okay. There's the meat lantern one. That's fine. Retract and gain a draw a card. Retract. Skip a beat. Gain the strength and the block. Steer them. And then, yeah, we hex a guard to draw, more to draw the card than anything. And then, I don't really need the intangible here. Yeah, I need to be out of energy. Another 13, two attacks, and we got this. Draw a card, attack, not an attack. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, they were half damage. Crap. I needed a vulnerability potion there. That's fine. I mean, we, we still... We still survive here. It's just, I was hoping to kill her outright. There we go. Um, I don't need the butterflies. I don't need any of these. Let's refresh again. Um, and none of these are good. Souls, Tattered Rug, you can sell potions to the merchant. 
fine, I guess. Uh, none of these are. Seven HP with one revival for eight. Oh, and these are bugs. Squirt Girl right here would end this combat very quickly. They all have 20. 25. That's exactly what I wanted to see. <laughs> I said it, and so it became true. Positional card. Whenever you play six cards, shuffle days. That's not bad. Friend from Hell would kill us, I think, almost immediately. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm just, like, refreshing to see if there's new cards. Um, we'll take this. Let's... None of those seem interesting. Really, like, an advancing guard would be really nice. I was hoping for another Scorch Girl nonsense. Um, let's... Let's hex the guard first. Oh, there's the intangibility. Let's play everything out, and then we'll do that. Uh, so this will do the one to the far left, right? No, it, it is at random. Gotta keep that in mind. And then we strike one of you, and then we defend. And then we lament here. Exhaust both those. So the frozen card is just gone. Interesting. Okay. Work flame. Should be plenty of benefit. Just random, random amounts of damage applied everywhere. And they're dead. Put a card from your exhaust pile in your hand. Cover one. After playing it, reduce the cost by one. I'm drawing it. Introduce interference. Huh. Toss card into our hand. Should be very good. A two after playing it. Reduce it. So it would be three. Okay. Interesting. I don't think I need it right now, though. Oh, first seal would be su is super good. A little bit of healing here, if we can make it that far. Uh, well, there's the healing, so we'll keep that in mind. And we'll skip a beat with a block, mostly. Block again. We're going to take nothing. Oh, we had another one anyway. Could have done that. That's fine. All right. Orc Flames is very good. Um, do we want to do that first, though? No, we want to rewind first. Then we're going to fork flames on Spider Bud here. Okay. Time for need. Radiant Flame's fine. Fragment of the Universe. That's going to go off here. Okay, and then we can kill you. Get you out of here. That was it. We're still blocked, which is really what matters. Uh, Scorch Girl kills most of you. And then I just need to draw an attack. If not, I'll fire potion. I need to draw... Actually, no, I don't. There's the attack. That works. Old lady? Nah, I think we're good. Uh, there's another skip a beat. Let's... Oh, I should have took that. Dancing guard. That would have been much better. Can't play you. Nice to know. Scorch girl here. Right. Defend. Go with our day. So every time we play zero cost cards, I'm going to get shivs. Got to keep that in mind. Rewind will give them a shiv, but I do want to do that. But I want to fork flame first. Get that effect. Rewind here. That's fine. We're going to empower. I should have done that first, but that's fine. Skip a beat. Then defend here that effect again. Okay. Uh, first, yeah, well, they're doing 12. Uh, ooh. Not great. Um, I want to play this to slow them, but time for need first. Good either. Yeah, I think we might be in trouble here. Do that. I really need to play two attacks here. I'm going to do this way. Uh, that actually helped a lot. Float to draw a card. I think I will wait on. And we'll see her here. I think that's it. Rank gain is rough. A free first seal. Fine. Scorch girl here. Oh, and they're dead. 
That went surprisingly well. Alright, that worked out. <laughs> Uncontrolled 16 damage to all enemies. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to brain that. What is you? Um, you you have to be like dis discarded is what you want. If not, you deal damage to me. I think I'm okay here. I think I'm okay with that potion. Fifth seal. Get a random card in your deck. I do like that a lot. That's what we're gonna go with. I don't know what I want. I don't really know what our deck is doing right now. Uh, I didn't come out heal four. Uh, at the, uh, before the start of turn, if you have block, or are we turn if you have block, game one strength. I don't get that. We'll try it. I don't know. We're just going for it right now. Continue our ascent into descending. Another sip of coffee here. Let's go. Two shops back to back. A pretty elite heavy path. That's the one I think I'm going to go for. We always can duck out of an elite if we need to. And the starting bonfire is always nice. Uh, ooh, hmm. Break that sapphire. 10 max HP is good. And then medical manual. First, exhaust the first status we draw. I don't think we have that problem currently, but there's Squirt's Girl. I mean, oh, and you're ethereal, unfortunately. Oh, wait, we have more energy. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. Seems like what I want to do currently. I really want to take that much. Let's go ahead and say no, we don't want to take that much. Go ahead and fire pot one of them. Only take three. Seems much nicer. Then what we'll do is we'll first seal. We'll deal seven to you. You also got all the soul flames. Advancing here. And you know what? Let's get rid of these two. This one does something bad, I think, if we exhaust it. I don't remember, but I don't want to take damage, so. Forget those activated effects that way. Alright. Back to enemy when you lose health, they take that much damage. Well, I mean I could I could use that selectively, but not to good effect right here. There we go. Ooh, time for need got upgraded. Uh what it was you. You play the circles. They exhaust themselves. I think I'm good. Alright, now we're getting ironclad cards in the mix. Try to ignite it again. Try that. I'll probably grab some ironclad block cards would be good. Oh, I don't want to play that. Let's slow you. That's pretty good. And then we want to duel. We don't have nothing to duel with. We'll do that. Play this for fun. And then we had the Languid Potion if the, they're hitting us pretty hard. Okay. Scorch Girl for damage. Uh, need for time. Right? That's fine. I uh, will go with the Seer here. Oh, that got exhausted and then recycled, which is pretty nice. Um, go for a Languid because I don't want to. Don't have block. Then we'll go Intensity here. And we'll float for fun. That's fine. Yeah, and we are gaining strength as long as we have block. Pretty much if we fully block, we gain a strength. Which makes some of our cards just better. <laughs> Alright. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Continue. Makes me want to put more multi-attacks in. And there's fifth seal. Great. Um, we'll rewind. We will forked flame here. Alright. Let's float first. I guess Haunting Echoes is the, the move here. Alright, under 200. Just barely, but under that, that counts. Upgraded Strike. Eh. Oh, that one's interesting, but I don't think I want that either. Limit Break, double our strength. I mean, it's a weird way to build into it. Hmm. I think I do take it, though. We do have some, like, pretty passive strength gain, just like... In, in our build currently. All right. Um, bag of marbles is pretty dang good. I like that. And that's all we're going to get. <laughs> I thought we had more money than that, but alas, we did not. Uh, begin reading the story. 
Uh, false thrones. Next turn, put all the your hand. Eve. False present. Lose seven max HP. The first two cards. Sure. Remove a card. Gain curse. Clumsy. Sure. I will remove the injury. Lose six. Gain two. Lose five. Gain a potion. I don't really want that. Give a card in your deck plus one and exhaust. Okay, um, just a basic stripe, maybe? Let's see. What would I want to exhaust? Is there anything that benefits from being exhausted? No. So let's put it on just a basic strike. The so false present or stop reading. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take the false present. Seems pretty good. Hello, shopkeep. Yes, we're here again to beat you up. Hello. Alright. Haunting Echoes is what's not good. Let's do a strike here. Because they both get exhausted is what ends up happening. If you can't, I guess, win. Which is fine, I guess. Alright. There's Scorch Girl. You're doing 20 damage. Kind of mean. Um, let's retract here for energy. Orc's Flame. Uh, we'll go heal here, and then we will wait. So we're taking 10, but we'll heal some of that back. Oh, Fifth Seal is the one that's going to get a, uh, Ethereal, but it'll come back next turn, actually. That's actually pretty fine. Right here. I think that is it. So fifth, it'll be recycled. There we go. And it costs zero. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. That's actually pretty nice. Um, another attack here. We'll float into the next one. Hexagard here just to do it. And there we go. No benefit to us, but just more damage on the shopkeep. And, I mean, we'll get upgrade on the seal, which can't be upgraded because it's the seal. But, come on. Uh... There's exhaust a shadow strike to your hand. Not bad. And it'll come back for free with the recycler. I mean, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh, we missed out on singing ball. That is the sadness here. I think I'll go for another elite. Feel pretty good currently. Alright, block matters a lot here. Orc flame is zero. Go ahead and do that. We'll go with the strike here. With that rewind. Strike again. Exit guard for a draw. Skip a beat. 15 damage. Not bad. And then we'll just go block. We are taking nothing, so let's give him all of our block. And we will keep limit break in the bag. Alright. Oh, plenty of block that he gave both those guys. Since my stuff's like full AoE, I mean, this is fine. Uh, I don't really want. Oh no, I can't smoke queen. First seal. Let's skip a beat. And a little block here. He is doing 10 to us this time. Uh, we can get 5 to our, our guy, and we should take nothing. Alright, he killed the little guy. So this good guy should spend his time making another one. Yes, he's still doing 21 though. Uh, we want a Scorch Girl here. We want to deal 10 damage to him. We want to manifest on these two. He still does 21 to our dude. Which does suck because that means the dude's going to do a big attack next turn. No matter what I do. Because the, the intangible applies to me, not to our friend. Yeah, so he's doing... Oh, it's only not even that much this time. Do I want to play fifth seal, really? I think I... Oh, I definitely will. Uh, fifth seal. Then we will... Strike you. Then we'll do this again. Get rid of these two. After all, I still means the effect applies. And we are intangible, so we take... Very little to no damage. I think the only damage we're really taking is from combustion. Which is our card. <laughs> Alright, he's doing 33 this time. 
is a bit more. Um, we'll play the Forked Flames first. I think we can get out of the fight beforehand. The active ghost center is ignited, ignited again. Yep. What I wanted to do. Uh, discard this card. Come with three turns. Otherwise, exhaust all cards. No. <laughs> I do not want that. Um, I think we're good here. Our deck does not make much sense, but it seems to be doing good. And Anchor is a good addition to distance. Um, I mean, this does nothing, right? Oh, it makes them not in theory anymore. You can upgrade them. You used to not be able to. That's kind of nice. But I actually don't mind the ethereal. Actually, that messes up our our fifth seal to with the recycler. I'll leave that. I'm actually gonna go forked flames. I think seems more fun. Actually, actually, Kippa beats being zero is much better. Allows you to do just have them do nutty things. Oh, uh, you guys are annoying. All right, first seal. That's fine. Don't need you zero, but time corruption. Oh, I don't want that. Yeah, I'm not going to play that, unfortunately. Um, this one's activated. It will not be. We'll do that. And honestly, I should just... No, I'd rather keep it to be able to... Ma well, I really don't want to take that much damage. Well, we're blocked. We're good. He's going to hit the little guy for a lot. Which is not as good, but... Cannot really do much about it. Have uh, one attack, so we'll play that first. Then we'll float. Then we'll we rewind. Then I guess we'll empower here. Doing a bunch of damage to me. Not as much fun. But we'll do this. That should be fine. And we'll get the free seer. Okay. Corpse should be dead. Actually he might yeah, he will kill it before. Then if I don't. Unfortunately, I might just try to kill him. Oh, we did kill him, but it didn't do any damage to this other guy. All right. Um. Oh yeah, there's a. He is really gonna hurt me if I don't do this correctly. I'm actually going to invest a lot in. Unfortunately, I need like one more energy. Unfortunately, we're going to get walloped here. Ow. But he is dead this turn. Oh, Scorch Girl. Oh, that's not good. Is this going to do damage to me? A sizable amount of damage, too. That sucks. And I guess I fragmented the universe and put seal here. Scorch Girl's going to exhaust, because I can't play it. Oh, and then I'm dead. Uh, heal back from the fiber. All right, he's dead this turn. Can't really corruption here. I uh, will shadow strike this little thing just to do it. Uh, we want to defend. Oh, hunting echoes. I need one more. Uh, that's fine. Okay, that one's dead now. Down to two. Uh, limit break. I don't know. If... And let's limit break at this point, I guess. I don't know if it like matters specifically. This thing just deals so much damage. It's insane. Okay. Should be fine though. No attacks this time. No queen here. I don't mind the cards in the hand to get um, frozen if they do. Do that. This and he's yeah, killing up. Okay. Nightmare Strike. Haunting Echoes. He's dead. Float. Hit this little. Okay, down to 25. 18 of it right there. Um, He's doing 14 of that, so we'll just. Actually, he's just dead. Ended up working out, but man. It did. It did do a lot to us. Fire Potion there. Sword Boomerang. Getting the flex to get more strength might have been better, but... Oh, little gremlins here. Hello, little friends. 
Worst girl would be very good to start with. And you ask and you shall receive. That's a lot of damage right off the bat. Um, actually going to defend this. Oh, it didn't, it was free, so it didn't actually end up mattering. I wanted to have another copy on the discard, but that's fine. Okay. Um, the seal. 15 damage. Let's do this at random. Block here. So, attack them. Actually, they are doing a ton of damage here. Fire pop that one. I'm still dead, I think. No, I'm not. I'm very close. I don't know why he changed his intent. Oh, he just healed. Wow. This went uh, backwards pretty quickly. Four claim deals. Eight. Get you. Does damage to all of them. And kill. Let's skip a beat again. Hit the backliner. Okay, he changed because of that. Interesting. But we're good. He's going to heal because, I guess, because one died, they try to heal. I'm not sure if that's quite what it does, but... Rewind here. Fifth seal. I kind of need a block. Oh, we had one more. We could have played one, one more card. That's fine, though. They're taking a bunch of damage this turn. Ooh, Scorch Girl just kills that one. And they're both dead. Not terrible, not great. Flush idol. Perform heal two HP after the fourth turn. After the 18 turns, you die. That's fine. I think if any fight goes 18 turns, we're probably already dead anyway. Ooh, feed's pretty. I like feed. Max HP is just good in general. Retain and exhaust. Uh, I'd rather have the relic, I think. Baseball. Random card in your deck comes free. Okay. Three plus four, obtain a random ego card. Plus four damage. Actually, I'm going to do that to Sword Boomerang. <laughs> Seems super good. Hello, Idol of Gold. How do you do? Oh, there's the feed and stuff already. Or Flame. Yeah, non-minion, so it won't work on these things. Uh, let's go ahead and get fifth seal out. That's actually pretty good. This and these are... Oh, these are ethereal. That's what it was. So you want to wait till the the big turn to do that. That's right, though. More gold. All right. Which girl? I have to play it. Block. Deal damage. Let's Snow Queen you. Got the seal. That's fine. It's going to be exhausted anyway. Alright, 39 here. That's the big the big turn. Telesize. Skip a beat. Right. I don't know if I can kill it. Yeah, I definitely can't kill it this turn. I still think we are... Yeah, it's, it's exhausted. I think, yeah, we're still dead. Vanquished by the gold. I think we would have lost to the boss anyway. But definitely was a lot of fun. I was enjoying, there's definitely some kind of synergy you can do with like an exhaust deck with the lobotomy card. They're almost up to 3,000 in the bucket. I gotta figure out what we're gonna use it on. I, I need the, uh, the, um, the rabbit squad again. But that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Um, let me know how you'd like me to post maybe a list of games either at the end of a video or, you know, something like that for that question I asked. Also, if you have a preference on consistency or quantity of videos, because um, if I do every other day, there might be a day or two where we miss a day. Um, or if you'd rather me do every like three days, just so I have more time in between to record. Let me know your opinion, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.